Okay, so last night I made a video about my awesome expand a file for my coupons. Um, I liked it until I took it to Target with my screaming one-year-old. Um, if, if you're shopping without a kid, the expand a file can be a great thing. Um, however, if you're shopping with a kid, you need to be able to access your coupons quickly and not sit there, you know, and sh 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 while you're, you know, thumbing through all these coupons because they're still loose, they're just in different, you know, dairy, frozen, box food, this, that, and other thing, baby stuff. Um, and I was in Target and it was a quick trip, but it was still very hectic because I found myself fumbling with these little stacks of coupons in and out of my expander file. Um, so it was a good theory. I applaud my aunt. It works for her. Um, however, she doesn't go shopping with a one-year-old. So I broke down and found this really awesome binder at Target. It was like nine dollars and change. And the cool thing about this binder is if you open it like this, it has an accordion file. I'm, I like accordion files, expand the files, whatever you call them. But um, I can keep my, you know, my couponing things that I haven't yet clipped. I can keep the coupon booklets, like the Smart Source and the, you know, the Red Plum. You know, keep those in here, and I can keep my ads in here. Ah. Had a slight mishap with the binder. Okay, so quick look at how I have organized mine. You don't have to organize yours like mine, but it just kind of, this is what I came up with. And mine actually isn't very organized compared to some of the ones that I've looked at online and stuff. Um, I just kind of stuck with my categories that I already had going on. Like this is the, you know, like the teas and the coffee and the broth and... You know, it goes to like boxed food, like cereal and breakfast breakfast food. Um, and the important thing is you want to subcategorize. Like you want pasta, you know, this kind of pasta. Or like this is hamburger helper. This is, you know, Betty Crocker au gratin. You know, you don't want to just have ginormous things still because that's the point of separating these. Because if you're just going to be like, oh, this is a boxed food, you know. Then you, sh you might as well just use an expander file because you're still going to be pulling it out and checking it out. You know, this is Nature Valley Bars. This is Cream of Wheat. You know, Fiber One. So it's all it's all separated in that way. You know, going going further. And I got my Lean Pockets. Got my Lean Cuisine, Smart Ones, TV Dinners, you know. And, you know, then the Tyson... Yeah, a little Tyson parade right here. Different types of Tyson stuff that I have coupons for. You know, different boxed frozen Mexican food. Um, Pillsbury. Pillsbury I got lazy with because I have like 20 Pillsbury coupons all for crescent rolls and breadsticks. But they're interchangeable. So some of them are just for crescent and some of them are for crescent and breadsticks. So did I shove them in one pocket? Yes. Yes, I did. I really did. Um, going further, this is my Campbell's soup page. So I have all the different types of Campbell's soups that I have different coupons for. So I can just quick flip to the page when I'm in the grocery store and see which ones I have coupons for. And a big tip I have is when you're in the grocery store and you know that you're going to use your coupons, pull the coupons out of the sleeves. I Again, this is my second day of serious couponing, and this is enraging to me. I just came back from Target, and I just organized my coupons, and I found a coupon for something that I bought. Better yet, I found a coupon for th something that I thought I handed her the coupon for. But the coupon isn't at Target in their cash register. The coupon's in my binder. So, you know... 
just get an envelope or something so if you pick up Campbell's soup and you know you're gonna buy it and you know you're gonna use the coupon put the coupon out of here into an envelope or something that you can hand the cashier be like here's my coupons thank you very much um, as far as holding on to expired coupons I do but it's it's kind of hit and miss some Sometimes they take expired coupons, sometimes they don't. Sometimes one cashier will take... Whew. My god, it's 3 in the morning. Okay. Sometimes, you know, one cashier will take a coupon that's expired and sometimes one won't. Same store, same day, who knows. Um, you know, as far as the couponing rules go, it's one item per coupon. Unless you have a store coupon and a manufacturer coupon, then you can apply the store and manufacturer to the one item. Um, so, and obviously not expired coupons. So it just kind of depends on your cashier and where you are. Because I'm sure that some places, like, I don't know if Walmart actually takes expired coupons. I know that um, Target took one today that was expired, and that was nice. So, save me some money. Okay, moving on to the doggy stuff. You know, I got different Purina stuff. And then I did dairy. I'll probably move the dog till after the people food. And it just kind of goes on and on. And, um, I was tempted to use both sides so that it would be face coupons, fixed coupons, and then you'd flip it and have face coupons and face coupons um, to save sheets. But um, but I ended up not doing that because I didn't I didn't like how it looked, and it was a lot to go in because you can only come in from one side. You can't come in from both sides, otherwise it wouldn't really work as a sheet. Um, I didn't like how it was working. And because some of these stacks, I have a stack of Puffs coupons, like a quarter inch thick when you go like this. So, you know, it didn't, it didn't really work out very well for me, so I just have coupon face, coupon face, coupon face. So, this... I haven't tested it out. I'm a little bit frustrated with it because the coupons are kind of sliding, sliding out. So I kind of go like this and settle it. And actually, earlier in the video that I'm about to edit out, I opened up the binder originally and the ring popped open, and half of the coupon sleeves were just kind of like. So, um, those are a couple problems that I do foresee having issues with with my binder. But, you know, hopefully I can find a way to organize my coupons that's effective and that I can get to them quick, that they're more accessible, readily accessible. So, I, I like the idea of the binder. It seems great in theory. But the expanded file seemed really great in theory too, so we're going to test it out um, probably next week because I'm going to do my coupon clipping. Today is Friday, so Sunday I'm going to get like five newspapers and do some clipping, some serious clipping, and just kind of go from there. And next time I go shopping with coupons, I'll, you know, definitely document not not sitting in the store with a camera that would be kind of weird I'm not that cool but I'll definitely tell you guys how the binder goes when I do get a chance to test it out so happy clipping happy couponing if anyone has any tips or tricks that they use feel free to post a video response or even a comment um, underneath here um, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I do numerous different subjects. You know, I'll do video game reviews. Um, I'm working on a. I'm thinking about doing a play, a video game playthrough. Um, but 
but and I do a lot of beauty beauty product reviews and tutorials so you know just let me know if you like anything that I've done by liking my video of course and you know just subscribe okay so thank you good night